So here is our 1985 Horseman 42 foot TriStar. And as you can see, this is already one hell of a try, but late one night after smoking some really great herb, the dream was born to completely transform her to a modern factory looking huge cabin layout design while keeping it seaworthy. Why you might be asking? We just couldn't afford the $800,000 to buy a similar new one. So let's go DIY this baby in Mexico. This is a huge undertaking, getting all the paints, epoxy, fiberglass, and these gigantic 19 foot by six and a half foot wide panels and other composites all put together and building a custom trailer to carry all this for the 800 mile journey down to Mexico. But that's still not the hard part. The trailer will be driven down only after I make it back alive from sailing my trimaran 2,000 miles to the least expensive boatyard in Mexico. A Cabo run. Oh man, what a what a mess, huh? It's a trimaran. Man, oh man, Cabo is a zoo. It's crazy business here. So we have a weather window tonight only. If we don't leave tonight, we won't be able to head up the coast for about a week. Being different isn't a bad thing, it just means you're brave enough to be yourself. One of these things is not like the other. Basic Sesame Street, brother. They sent me to the schools where they try to reform ya. Felt like the honest kid who's in California. I'm an untucked darling and I'm proud to be. I'm an untucked darling, doesn't bother me. I'm a strange bird, baby, I'm the first to say I'm a strange bird, baby, it's the only way One of these things is not like the other Took a little while for my talent to uncover Discovered, they mistakenly took The cover at face value and misread the book We see different prizes, we see different lines We hear different voices, we see different signs We have different callings, we're on different grinds and hey, look who's here. Ha -ha, we it's made Marissa. It. And the cocoa butt. And coconut. She came down all the way from Los Angeles to kiss me. At last. At last. Guys, big news. The roof is up. Look at this shit. <laughs> Aldo! We didn't even need to cut. We cut these, we didn't need to. Oh. Shit, we didn't even need to cut it. <laughs> no big deal. Epoxy, no problem. No problem. So we cut these corners thinking they were going to hit, and they should, but the board hasn't flexed yet enough, so the curve still has to be addressed. Once it heats up, odds are that will slowly go down, and we will have a whole new 
shape. But right now we've got a pretty flat roof. We've got high ceilings. Now when you're in this room here, it's gigantic. Ceilings are incredible. Unbelievable. I am so stoked to get this roof up. You have no idea the amount of work that it's taken to get here. So happy. What a job. The roof is up. I am so stoked. Hi guys! Come up here and see the room height now. So the height you have down there at the pilot house uh -huh. is the height of the ceilings up. This is going to be that high? We have high ceilings. What? Yeah, is that crazy? Yeah! Look at this. So once we pull out all the beams, the beams will be gone. And then we have the same floor height there goes across here. Look at this. Anyway, yep, we got it on. Where are you going, Billy? Unbelievable. Wow. You know it fits exactly it. as planned. <clears throat> okay, guys, so we're, we need to uh, secure the roof with a lot of 404 and epoxy. That's what I'm doing here. Get it in the crack as much as possible so it can be a little more adhesion. But basically, we've got to do all this, and then once it dries, we have the roof secure. Then we're going to come back later, do some sanding, put some 407 in there, redo the fillet, and then we'll basically come back with a three and a half inch glass tape and glass all the edges. I've been hard at work since we put the roof on and uh, made some progress. Okay, so this morning, not only did we take uh, down the mast, we took down most of the pilot house. And now that's, that's heavy. I tried to lift it with Aldo and uh, <laughs> we're guessing that part is probably 300 pounds at least. So uh, that's a lot of weight off the boat. And we've taken on the mast. That's going to be a hell of a project. We have a lot of uh, old paint corrosion and a lot of maintenance to do. So overall, we'll be hard at work on this guy for the next month or so in between other work. So time to do a mast. Now, in regards to the roof, the epoxy could be set about now, but just to be safe, I'm going to keep the clamps in overnight and we're going to glue in a few more pieces here like as you can see i do have the new section which is i'm, I'm calling the the corner angle so we have the corner in pretty much where we want it although we will be trimming the outer edge there to fit inside a little bit and uh, we have to make room and calculation for the wall that goes along the side here that has our windows so that calculation will be made once we figure out the cut here um, right about here on the ground will be the start of a rise to get to that height over there for the walkway. So there will be a window wall here, and that will run all the way through to the back of the boat, part of the back upright for the roof. That's where the wall has a door. That is what we're doing to each side of the boat. We will have about a 22 inch walkway approximately. There will be some shaping and um, yeah. This looks very interesting. I'm sure you have no clue what I'm up to, but hang tight. You'll learn quickly what's going on back here. And there's a lot of stuff going on back here. Well, this is Friday, almost the end of week seven. We do have Saturday till noon to hit it hard. And we've accomplished a lot this week. Week seven is monumental in my books. Of all, of all weeks, we had Lucky Seven because I have a dog named Lucky and she was in the, the litter of uh, seven puppies and she's the last one still walking that's why we got her anyway um yeah so lucky week seven we have week seven and we put a roof on the boat we're doing all kinds of other stuff right now we're going to be curving the roof and in order to curve the roof to the degree we want on the ends we need to uh cut these lines in that area of the roof but that's what we're in the midst of right now but there's one step we have to take before that and that is 
we need to figure out what part of this section that we need to remove. So we're gonna try this first on the inside and we're gonna make that thin rip on the circular saw. And then after those are in, we'll see how it contours. And if it does the job, we're golden. If not, maybe a few more cuts are in order. So we're getting on with that right now. But first we need to put this wall in. This wall has to go up first, like I said, because it goes basically right here and it goes up the wall and that will tell us exactly where we cut away on the upper section that we do not that we do not need so we're on it so how's it coming aldo oh wow looks like you have the piece correct is that the case really that was pretty quick that was what maybe a half hour wow look at that yeah once you put a little thickened epoxy in that little teeny crack there we're in business man all right cool well you guys might not know what we're up to but now that we have the piece cut in here, we are going to cut this section entirely off. So we do not even need this part of the roof. This is where our helm, our outside helm is going, where all the controls and lines come to. Oh, I've been dying to have that. Is it looking good? Oh man, nice cut. Thank Look you at that. that perfection. A little more. Yeah, you're on the you're on the money, man. That's fantastic. <laughs> good cut. Now we need the jigsaw. Now that's his morning yoga. Well guys, I have to apologize. I should have placed a camera on a tripod and ran this. Anyway, it was really, really good. It went smooth. We uh, cut the piece out. So once we bond that panel, there's a lot of other uh, details and stuff that are going into play. And you'll see, and you'll soon see it about a steering station, a bathroom, a seating for the steering station. And there's a few other little tricks I have in mind with that section, so it should be a lot of fun to watch. Anyway, if you haven't yet liked and subscribed, I would love it. It would help our channel, and uh, we're going to bring you a bunch more episodes, and uh, this is really from ordinary to extraordinary. You'll see. Okay, Aldo, are we ready? We did it? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Well, guys, we cut this really nicely. That was real quick. Worked out great. So then we're going to do our cuts on the inside real soon. First, we're going to mount that panel to where we are going to tie in everything back here. This goes down? The floor? Sure. Okay. Is it going to fit? Let's find out. I think the bottom needs to be kicked in a little bit. I think we have to cut a little bit off that corner. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. All right, good. So we have a little bit of a hangover here, right? So we can trim that back, no problem. I think I think we will have an angle on there up top after we do the valance, so maybe we cut it then. Perfect. So we're gonna use thickened epoxy 404, really good glue adhesive, then we're gonna tape all the edges, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, so here's where we are. This is almost the last day of week seven. We're on a Friday. Tomorrow we do have a half day, so we've got four more hours to get a lot more done. And we're cooking along, actually. So this is day two of the roof. The roof is up and we're making all the mods and cuts where we need them. We're moving along pretty well, I think. Anyway, so this is gonna be, uh, gonna be area for our station. We have an outside station that will actually have a wheel We'll have all the lines in the one section. Right about here, there's going to be a, a pathway that's about 18 inches off the wall. And I can stand there with my two wenches and all my locks and I can pull lines and do all of that. And Aldo is suiting up. He's going to 
epoxy this guy in today. And we're going to make these cuts over here soon too. All these cuts are being done here. And then the roof should bend over. And then when the roof bends over, we have to design that corner, corner wall. And we did the corner wall on that side. So we're going to have do this. And then soon thereafter, everything just falls in place very quickly. That's how I see it. What do you think, Alder? Good? So what we're doing here, we're cracking the fiberglass with the saw. We're just doing a little rip, maybe an eighth, maybe a little bit more or less in that area. And we believe that with a few cuts, the outside edges that we're trying to roll over a bit in a couple areas should be a lot easier to manage that. And right now, they're looking very stiff. I had a feeling they could flex, but it is kind of a short distance while everything else is very, very flat. So we need to help it along. That's what we're doing. So guys, well, we made the slices underneath here. And as you can see, we have Aldo very dusty. Mucho polvo. Mucho polvo ton. And we made a lot of, ooh, wow. A lot of cuts in this. So uh, going through the, the existing fiberglass bond that we made, we made a little bit of messer, but overall we came all the way through. We got it, we found a way with the Salzol. We used the Salzol to get into the foam and that's how we were able to go past the, the panel. And as you see now, we have wide open and we can close it. So there's our bend. So the whole side here can get bonded down pretty easily. And we have a slight curve on the sides, which I wanted. Anyway, so that's looking pretty cool. All right, what have you done? That's how it's done. At 29 and I find myself wondering, what did happen to the last 10? Ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had Just drove over her, honey Hi! Okay, okay, so you guys stay No, no, no Hi, hi, this one is a runner oh, She's gonna bite you, This one's a runner This one, I, 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 oh, she bites, she is biting me, she is biting me Oh, fuck, Marissa, what are you stop, doing? Stop, close the door, close the door What are you doing?